What's up, guys? Real Dr. Jin here, American Board Certified Internal Medicine Doctor. Not the neurosurgeon in the Korean TV show, but I'm going to comment on the TV shows. Hey guys, Real Dr. Jin again. Thank you for watching the first episode. I'm so glad that you like it, you subscribe it, and especially the guys who comment on it. And today I'm going to watch the second episode with you and enjoy together with you. Let's come. Our first case is coming. Let's see what's going on. Rape victim today. Yeah, what happened? 25 year old female found out at the park, status post trauma. She came over the GCS of six weeks. Whoa, this is a very severe victim. As you can tell from the blood pressure, very low, 80 60. Usually the normal one is around 120 over 80. That's a very low blood pressure, cannot support the blood flow in your brain. And what is the GCS? GCS6 is high, is low, is moderate. What do you think? So GCS basically means a Glasgow Coma Score. This is usually evaluate the trauma patient. In some dramas, you may say, oh, people's GCS dropped to zero and the patient died. That's inaccurate. The lowest GCS score is three. So we give four to eye response, five to verbal response, and six to motor response. If the score is three, that means patient died. There's no score zero, right? And this patient is six. Six is very low. Usually if the GCS score is less than eight, patient need to be incubated. Let's take a look. Over 60. Exam is significant for blood head trauma. Yes, it's right, incubated. Call ahead to clear CT, let the middle come in. Load up the portable monitor. So this is a very severe case. After they running all this uh, exam, CT scans, they took the patient right away to the OR for their surgery. She's still breathing after what this guy did to her. Catch the gun. She should castrate him. She shut her hands off. She tried to bite back. Tried to. Rip kid came back negative. Oh, the rip kid come back negative, but you may know. In the U.S., every 96 seconds, someone is sexually assaulted. So you must know about this rape kit. So what is rape kit? Usually this is the kit to collect evidence when someone gets assaulted sexually. When someone gets sexually assaulted, they can go to the emergency room. The doctor and nurses will help to collect the evidence. They will collect some hairs, some saliva, blood, semen, and body fluid and do some testing. The rib kit usually come back positive if it's a real sexually assault. Why this rib kit will come back negative? Let's take a look. She kicked his ass. So, we have a warrior among us, huh? Dr. Burke is joking about the case. That sounds not right, but that's accurate for the case. Usually in the OR, we can hear a lot of jokes. The surgeons can joke a lot of things. And OR is a very stressful environment. People joke a lot. They are doing jokes, but they are also doing their best to save patients. What is this? Dr. Burke seems to find something. Oh my God. What is that? She bit it off. Bit off what? That's his penis. She bit off his penis. She bit off the penis. Whoa, maybe that's why patient's uh, rib kit comes back negative. Now we have the answer. She is the warrior. I got a BA from Smith, a PhD from Berkeley, and an MD from Stanford, and I'm delivering lab results. This is very accurate. As a first year intern, we have a lot of scat work, especially in New York. Does anybody here speak Chinese? This is not accurate. You know, in all the hospitals, we have interpreter lines. So any kind of language, you can find the interpreter line and you can talk to patient. Sometimes it's audio just from the phone and sometimes it has video using the iPad. Hi, did you 
Keegan? He's on his way. Is that it? Yeah. Can I see it? You have to take it with you. Oh, she need to carry the penis anywhere. All medical matter under rape must stay with the person who collected it until it's placed into police custody. You collected the specimen, so you have custody. Custody of a penis. Custody of a penis. <laughs> Dr. Yang is a Korean. He is like easily mistaken to be a Chinese. Sometimes, you know, people always recognize Asian from the same country and same language, which is accurate. Sometimes I was mistaken to be a Korean because my last name is Jin and uh, there is a last name Jin in Korean, too, which is Kim. Oh, car accident? Oh, someone's coming. Look at the private area. Seems he's bleeding. Oh, he's the rapist. The rapist come to the same hospital. He passed out. He must lost a lot of blood. And he needs blood transfusion. But will they do the penis transplant? Let's get an OR. One minute. If you call the chief and let him know we got the rapist. Why are we not attempting to reattach the severed penis? If you still slice, they tear. You can only reattach with a clean cut. If you wanted to slice them off with a knife. Besides, the digestive juices didn't leave much of the flesh to work with. Right, so what do we do? Sew them up minus a large part of the family jewels. And as that look, he'll be urinating out of a bag for a very, very long time. Not to mention he'll never be able to have sex again. Oh, too bad. Shame. What's up? Yeah, so because this is not a clean cut, have a lot of germs, and uh, some tissue already died. They can't put it back. Oh, so cute babies. And the full room of babies. Oh, this baby. Wow, this baby, the face turned blue. That we call the cyanosis. So this baby looks like have some congenital problems. Usually when baby cry, they shouldn't become blue. Whenever they become blue, that means their oxygenation is not good. It is common in some congenital heart disease. Let's see. Is he yours? Yeah, he's adorable. Mr. and Mrs. Johnson, I'm Dr. Bart, get cardio. We're gonna run some tests and get you an answer within the hour. Great. Excuse me. Want to get chest X-ray? Echo. I don't have all day. You're busy. See, yeah. If you suspect the patient have cyanosis, the most important thing is check the echo. That can tell you if the baby has some congenital heart disease. Well, oh, that's the first thing. Pathology of lower Tachology of uh, follet, that is one of the most common congenital heart disease for the babies. Usually we call it F4. As you know, the heart has right side and left side. The blood in the right side usually dark red because lack of oxygen. And this blood goes to the lung, get very good oxygenation, then come back to the left side of the heart becoming the bright red. But this kind of baby, they have a hole between the left heart and the right heart. The blood from the right side can go directly to the left side and deliver to the whole body. In this situation, the body will turn blue because the blood delivered is not the bright red blood. It is dark red and we call that cyanosis. You may also curious why it happens only when the baby is crying. Because when baby is crying, the body needs more oxygen. So the blood is more dark and the face turns to blue. Pulmonary atresia. You're right. Look at no OR for tomorrow. Right. This situation needs surgery. And usually surgery can correct the situation. How is she? No change. Have you been here all night? Oh, warning coming. Last in peace, double. Get over! Traffic, the training 
Yeah, this is accurate. Whenever the pressure of the brain becomes high, it will do the craniotomy. The skull size is limited for human beings. Whenever you have a little bit of bleeding or some swelling in the brain, it will cause the pressure goes up. And in that situation, you need craniotomy, which means you need to remove some piece of the bone to create a window from the skull. And then the pressure can come down. If the pressure continue to be high, that's very dangerous. It will cause herniation of the brain and cause death. Right, manitol is a very helpful thing to shrink the size of the brain and to help the pressure. I uh, have to leave her skull flap off until the pressure in her brain goes down. Right, that's the way to control the pressure. She's not naked, is she? If she ever wakes up. That's cross fingers. I have good news and bad news. The good news is Dr. Bailey stops your bleeding. Bad news is we're giving a penis to the cops. Have a nice life. Oh, this is the rapist. So they hand the penis to the police instead of the chance plant. I'm going. That's how we're made. So Dr. Gray saved the baby by listening to the heart and hurting a murmur. As you know, now we have the CT scan, MRI, echo, a lot of examinations, but we still need a physical exam. That's very important. So, you can waste your life drawing lines, or you can live your life crossing them. The victim, wake up! That's great! Great job, Shepard! Okay, this is the end of the second episode. I like this show very much. You have different scenarios and different interesting cases. It started with a rapist and a victim. They show in the same hospital, which is a weird situation. And Dr. Gray heard a murmur and finally saved the baby for the congenital heart disease. I didn't see a F4 case myself, but it's an interesting case. A lot of things to learn. I learned a lot from this case. If you like my review, please subscribe to my channel and more episodes is coming. And if you have uh, some good medical drama for me to review, please leave it in the comment. Be happy and stay safe.